we use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation is something in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. But a, b, and c are numbers. The quadratic formula says that x will be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's look at an example of this. So we've got a question here, solve 3x squared plus x minus 7 equals 0. So it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we need to know what a is, what b is, and what c is. So a is the number before the x squared, so a is 3. B is how many X's we've got, and that's one. So we've got one X here, so B is one. And C is negative seven. So we need to substitute this in to the quadratic formula. So X equals minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change each of these letters for the number. So substitute in. So we're going to have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 7 all over 2 3s. So we're going to type this into the calculator. And with a plus or minus, that means we're going to have two different answers. So we're going to type into the calculator once with the plus and once with the minus. So let's type this in. I'm going to press the fraction button first. Then on top, minus 1. And I'm going to do a plus first. So plus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 7 over 2 times 3. So press equals. So we get our first answer. And to two decimal places, that's 1.37. So we can say x is equal to 1.37. Or we're going to have a second answer. So if we change the plus to a minus, our second answer is negative 1.70. Negative 1.70. So we've got two answers and that's done. So there's one for you to try here. So you can give this one a go. So this time, A is 2, B is 5, and C is negative 11. So the quadratic formula is X equals minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So let's substitute in. So we're going to have minus 5 this time plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 11 all over 2 twos. So again, we're going to type this into the calculator, fraction button first, and then we're just replacing each of the letters in the quadratic formula with the number inside a bracket. So the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 11 over 
two twos. So we've got 1.41 to two decimal places. Or we've also got, if we change our plus to a minus, so our second answer is negative 3.91. Okay, another question. So this time, instead of an X, we've got an M, but it's exactly the same thing. So A is going to be 5. B is negative 2. So the number before the M squared is 5. The number before the M is negative 2. And the number by itself is negative 9. So C is negative 9. So the quadratic formula, which we need to remember, is well, x or m equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's substitute him. So we've got minus minus 2. So this is where we need to make sure we put brackets around the numbers because we're dealing with negatives plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 9 all over 2 fives. So fraction button first, minus negative 2, plus first, we've got the square root of negative 2 squared. I'm putting it inside a bracket. Otherwise, the calculator would get it wrong. Minus 4 times 5 times negative 9 over 2 fives. So we've got 1.56 as our first answer to two decimal places. Or our second answer. So to get our second answer, we're going to change the plus to a minus. And we get negative 1.16. And again, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So this time A is 3, B is negative 1, negative 1 N, and C is negative 15. So let's substitute into the quadratic formula. So N is equal to minus B, so minus minus 1, plus or minus the square root of B squared, minus 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 15. And that's all over 2 a's, which is 2 times 3. And we'll type that into the calculator. So minus negative 1 plus the square root of negative 1 squared making sure again the negative 1 is in the bracket minus 4 times 3 times negative 15 over 2 threes so we've got 2.41 so n is equal to 2.41, or that's our first answer. To get our second answer, we change the plus to a minus. And that's negative 
And another example, so this time we've not been given the question in the correct format. So it's got to be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So we need to rearrange it to make it equal to zero before we can solve it. So to do that, we're going to take 2x from both sides. So we've got 7x squared minus 2x equals 1. And then take away 1 from both sides. So we've got 7x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So now we can write down what a, b, and c are. a is 7. B is negative 2, and C is negative 1. And the quadratic formula says X equals minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So let's substitute in. So B is negative 2. A is 7, C is negative 1. And we'll type it into the calculator once with the plus and once with the minus. So negative, take away negative 2, plus the square root of negative 2 squared making sure the negative 2 is in a bracket, minus 4 times 7 times negative 1, all over 2 sevens. So our first answer is 0 0.55, again to two decimal places. And to get a second answer, we're going to change the plus into a minus. And we've got negative 0 0.26. And one for you to try. So give this a go. So again, it's not in the correct format. So if we take 19 away from both sides, we can get it into the correct format. So it's ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we can write down what a, b, and c are. a is going to be 3. b will be 8. And c, negative 19. So we've got the quadratic formula written down here. So we're going to substitute in. So it's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2as. And let's type it into the calculator. So our first answer is 1.51. And let's change the plus to a minus. And get our second answer, which is negative 4.18. Okay, to finish up, two questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, question one. So we've got A is 2, B is 3, and C is negative 8. And the quadratic formula 
is x equals or m equals in this case minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's substitute him. So we've got minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 8 all over 2 twos. And type it into the calculator. Negative 3. We do the plus first. So plus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 8 all over 2 twos. So our first answer is 1.39 to two decimal places. Or if we change the plus to a minus, we get negative 2.89. And question two, so it's not in the correct form. So if we take 10 away from both sides, we get it equal to zero, which is what we want. So we've got 5n squared minus n minus 10 equals zero. So we can write down what a, b, and c are. a is five, b is negative one, and c is negative 10. So substituting into the quadratic formula, we're going to get n is equal to negative negative 1 minus negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 10 all over 2 fives. So let's type this into the calculator. So again, we're squaring a negative, so make sure you're using a bracket. If you don't use a bracket, you'll get the wrong answer. The calculator will think you're taking away one squared, which will give you a negative answer when you want a positive answer. So our first answer is 1.52. So n is 1.52 or negative 1.32.